Richard Hammond has had his say on the dynamic between him, Jeremy Clarkson and James May ahead of the release of The Grand Tour's penultimate special. The trio head to Mauritania in Africa for their second to last episode where they'll complete their gruelling journey in cars of their choice before all three prepare to call time on their tenure working together on screen. The Grand Tour fans were disappointed to learn the upcoming episode is the penultimate instalment, with the following Zimbabwe special marking the end of their Amazon Prime video favourite. All three have become the faces of motoring television for over a decade, building up a strong following with Top Gear, which they starred in from 2002 to 2015. However, last year they decided to call time on the Grand Tour, with Clarkson claiming that becoming fat and old led to the decision. He said, We've done everything you can do with a car. When we had meetings about what to do next, people just threw their arms in the air. The star added that options were being explored for a new incarnation of show, which could see the trio reuniting on screen. As to be expected, question marks over why the trio decided to end their working relationship arose, as fans were keen to make sure all three remained the pals they see on screen. Clarkson has already addressed the trio's bond, insisting they wouldn't have lasted as long in the world of television if they didn't get along, while May has also had his say and remarked their success stems from a point of mutual loathing. Now Hammond has shared his thoughts on the trio's ties and that while they may irk one another in their adventures, an underlining friendship remains. Hammond reflected, I was just 30 when we started and now I'm 54, so we've been through a huge chunk of each other's lives together. He said, We know each other very well and it's not founded on seeing one another in an office every day or in the pub at weekends. It's seeing one another in incredible places, grappling with illness and injury. Elsewhere, in his interview with Radio Times, Hammond admitted it will be hard to leave it behind when they watch the final Grand Tour air. It's been 23 years growing into something we never thought it would. It's been 23 years of growing into something we never thought it would, he explained, but it'd be a bit preemptive to host a wake for it now, because it's still breathing. Hammond's comments come just days after Clarkson shared his opinions on his co-hosts with Amazon ahead of the release of the Grand Tour special, Sand Job. He told the streamer, when we do these things, it's a laugh from start to finish. We know what we're doing and we do enjoy one another's company. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been doing it for 25 years. It was tremendous. It was a big laugh. The fact it's the longest special we've ever made testifies to how good it is because there's very little you'd want to throw away. It's all exciting, good stuff. Both Clarkson and Hammond's remarks are slightly different to May's, however, when he was recently asked about the trio's success. He told The Times, one of the reasons the show works is because we are creatively fueled by a mutual loathing. May added, TV is difficult with three people. Other shows have tried to do things with three presenters and what they never grasp is that you have to choose three people who annoy each other. That's the key to why our dynamic works. Sandjob airs on Friday, February 16th, while the trio's final Grand Tour special is set to air later this year.